Hello everybody, it is your Sam and I have wanted to share with you a couple of characters and a couple of things that I've put into Campfire. Uh, Campfire is a program that's good for storyboarding <clears throat> and world building and basically creating a series Bible or a book Bible for your current work in progress or those that you have planned. Uh, I bought this when I won Camp NaNoWriMo for July, June, July, something like that because NaNo gives you a little bit of a discount when you win on certain programs and things like that. That's how I got Dabble and it's how I ha now have Campfire Pro. So, I wanted to give you a little bit of a introduction, shall we say, to Campfire. I have started I'm No Hero in Campfire, and this is the first page that you pull up whenever you open your story. I just have the title here, the genre, my name, and I have a little bit of a synopsis here and I can add these later or right now. So far I have Nadasha faces the quest of prophecy that is not her prophecy at all and demands the gods pay attention to humans like her while defeating an evil female to make sure the world can be made right again. I'm going to take out the word female because yeah. Uh, the memory of that great white test be still sang through my mind. My heart had leapt at the sight, not of fear, but of awe, of knowing the quest would begin for Johnny, my friend, for me too, because I wouldn't let him go without me, even if I would be useless to him and none of the prophecy's lines were of me, except for maybe the third. I could make some mistakes. And this is just a little excerpt right here of a couple of lines in the first chapter. So... Without further ado, let's jump right here into characters. As you can see, I have three characters added. Y'all have seen a little bit of Nadasha. I think I did a character profile for her for Pantsers. So this is it all in one area. You actually get a visual. So if you want a panel, um, you can right click anywhere on this screen and you can add a text panel, image panel, statistics panel, list panel, reference, and links panel. This right here is like a text panel for the backstory. This is an image panel right here. Statistics panel has little boxes right here where you can add and subtract by these little tickies and you can change what the statistic is about and how it's measured. And then reference, you can go right here in select an element. Now, of course this is all that I have right now so I'm going to click Spasia and Blary and then add two elements and as you can see they're linked right here. So you can describe the relation of these characters to each other. And Spasia is a companion. She quickly turns into a friend and Blary of course is a companion her priest and also turns into a friend. So yeah, and when you do this, you could click right here and it takes you to the other characters page. You could also see the references here and that it is added. So I'm gonna go back to Nadasha here. Uh, physical attributes is also another text call or it's a list column my bad because when you add right here it comes up with a list item and if you don't need this you can always hit the X and it will delete out or you can add and change everything yeah. okay so physical attributes for Nadasha her face shape is oval her eyes are hazel her hair is brown and it's to the mid back uh, she usually wears it in braids or a ponytail something to keep it out of her eyes and face she's efficient that way if my voice goes in and out i'm sorry it's allergies again y'all 
<laughs> if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I have really bad allergies and they like to play around with my voice. Skin tone, she's got kind of like a farmer's tan. She's pale on in the middle and tan like on her face, neck, and arms kind of thing. That's a farmer's tan. Special markings, she has scars on her fingers from dagger practice. Now this is the beginning of the story. I have changes down here because she changes throughout the story as does any good character arc. So you have that. Clothing, she usually wears like a loose shirt, fitting pants except like around the knee because she likes to be able to climb, run, all that good crap. And she has a thick dagger holding belt that's kind of like a corset as you can see in some of these pictures right here that I've depicted. She usually wears knee length boots. She's all the time out in the woods. So this apparel is, I mean, it's fitting. Changes. Cheese body changes as she eats more and doesn't feel like she has to starve herself to feed her family. This comes whenever she becomes the hero and she starts getting paid and she starts living in the capital more and all that good stuff. And of course, I've got some scars that she gets. Full name, if y'all saw the other video, you know most of this. Nadasha Vanya Detra Silvera Chris. She's female, she's straight, she, her social class is low, but it does go to one of the highest social classes because the hero is pretty much seen kind of like a prince or princess. And then you can always add more stuff right here. I've also got her personality traits. She is an ISTP on the Myers-Briggs. Astrology, she's kind of a Virgo or Earth element. She has some bad and good habits. Of course, she has self-doubt uh, when others depend on her. If someone depends on her, she just, she kind of freezes because she doesn't think that she's worthy of their <laughs> view of her, kind of. But she is self-reliant on the same side of the coin. She doesn't want anybody else to really do anything for her. She's kind of a wallflower and yeah. This is a character that you haven't really seen much of. This is Blairy the Priest. He is the first character, uh, companion of Nadasha's party. His full name is actually Blairy because in my world, priests give up their family name to become priests. His gender, his sexuality is kind of unknown, and his social class is priest. He is very highly educated because he reads constantly. Personality traits, he's neat and tidy. His appearance is kind of the most important thing to him other than writing and reading. He will protect books over his beard, maybe. <laughs> uh, writing and reading are life. He is never without a book physical attributes. His hair is black to dark brown. Shoulder length for his actual hair. His beard kind of comes down to about his mid chest. I would say like sternum, about mid sternum. His eyes are brown with gold flecks. Build, he has a little around the middle, but he does have stamina for walking. I mean, he can walk for long periods of time just as long as he doesn't have to like sprint during it or anything like that. He can, he can pretty much keep up when, with walking kind of thing. And here we have the references with Nadasha. He's a companion and friend to her. I haven't really added any statistics because right now Blairy is kind of ageless. <laughs> I can't add in height and weight here. Try to make it. And with height, because of the way this is, I usually just do it in inches instead of feet and inches. So we'll say, um, let's do 73 inches. It puts him an inch over six foot. And statistic, we'll add weight. And since he has a little bit around the middle and he's six foot, I will look up the averages a little bit later. But I want to say he'll be around maybe 235 pounds. 
give or take like again I'll look at the averages later to make sure that that's about right and another thing with these see how this one has like a little scrolly bar I kind of don't like my boxes to have scrolly bars in them so I'm going to move this down and the way you can do that is hover your mouse over these three bars right here or over this corner and then I'm going to lengthen that and there you go so this is all very mobile movable and all that good stuff so here's the image for Blurry that I have up on Pinterest and I kind of pulled it for over here. I'm going to add some more images because these two right here, well this one still works. This is kind of a more ceremonial garb. This one doesn't quite work now that I've written some more. So backstory, he's originally from Crossmark which is another town. He took training as a priest in Galanese, which is the capital, before moving to Alamount, which is where the story starts and where Nadashia is. He became a priest at the age of 14. He studied history and stories of the heroes since he could read. He's always been fascinated with hero stories. He moved to Alamount because of the up-and-coming Welkin legacy. Uh, at the time, not led by Tasp, but because of his interest, became quick friends with Tasp. Welkin legacy is... Wilkins are one of my races. Legacy is what they call their tribes or their groupings of tribes that are under one leader. And here we have Spasia. Again, I'm going to move this box down and lengthen this one so that there's no longer a bar over here. So Spasia, her full name is Spasia Vierre. Her gender is female. She's straight. She's a uh, hunter which makes her kind of like a mid lower class her education is she finished the primary school of the world but she doesn't have any specialization training kind of like Blairy does with his priesthood personality traits she's skeptical uh, she has dry humor dry humor she has more action and less thinking eventually if she gets to know you and she likes you she turns kind of into a mothering hen but she's more she she's the type of mothering hen that if she sees that you're sick she'll she'll watch you but when you're not looking you'll find medication at your bedside with soup and and water and you know she's disappeared again kind of thing or she's back in the corner of the room watching you closely kind of thing she's she's kind of like a stalkery mother <laughs> it's hard to describe. I know there's a term for it, but you know. Physical attributes. Her hair is sandy brown. It has a few hints of auburn in it. Her face is wide at the cheekbones and forehead. Kind of goes down into a triangle. She has facial scarring when we meet her. It goes from her forehead to the left side down over an eye, nose, and the left side of her lips. And it makes her have a perpetual snarl and kind of like a haughty look because it pulled up the eyebrow a little bit. Her eyes were affected by it too because the left one is kind of like a cloudy blue because it was damaged. And the right one is her natural green color. She's pretty hefty in build. She's a barbarian. I kind of built her off of barbarian build. So her age is 46. She's one of the older characters that I have in my book. Her height is 75 inches. She's she's a beast. I mean, <laughs> and weight again, I was going to look up the average on this. I haven't yet, but I have it at 212 212 pounds. It's probably going to get a little bit more because like I said, she's she's kind of a beast. And here again, we have the references and I have her pictures. She's a spear wielder, uh, weapon of choice. And as you can see, I've got a couple of pictures of scars right here. One blue eye, one green eye, kind of like David Bowie. Backstory, she's originally from Dragotown at the beginning of the book, but she was born in the Unforgettable Mountains, and I have to name the town, as you can <laughs> see with these caps right here. Uh, she found her husband when he came up on her during a hunting trip in the unforgettable mountains. They started hunting together and traveling the lands. 
She has one kid, but hardly ever talks about them. The child only lived with her up until her husband died. And her husband's family took the child from her saying she was unfit. She kind of went crazy when her husband died. And yeah, her husband died in the Unforgettables by a bear attack. She hardly survived. That's where she got her scarring. She did track down the bear and kill it. She has the claws and some of the teeth around her neck. The reason why the family took the child away from Spasia is because she legit did not care about anything other than finding that bear and killing it. So <laughs> she got better and that's what she did. These are the characters that I have in here so far. Next week I will add probably three more characters and their references and everything like that. And here you have the relationship tab right beside the character tab. And right now I have companions right here. I have the three that I have. And you can add little bubbles and you can move them around and yeah. It's pretty neat. Nadashi is kind of in the middle though. So yeah. And you can change the line top if you want. If it'll let me do it again. Yeah, it won't let me do it again. <laughs> But here's a family tree and I have Nadasha just added right now. I will have her, the rest of her family in here. Timeline. I don't have anything in here. Well, I have three things. So we have the prophecy fulfillment. And then we have receiving the, the, the gifts when she takes up the quest. And then we have finding Sp Spasia in the next town over. And then you can do character arcs. I have nothing here yet but any character that you put in automatically has a page and all the events and everything like right can be built right here so this is my really really old map and I went ahead and just put it in here I am going to be making a new <laughs> a new map putting it in here right here in this slot I'll be, I'll be using incarnate you do have an encyclopedia. Um, I have some words and phrases that are very common in this world. Food that's common in this world, not anywhere else, that I'll be putting in here. And then, of course, you have the world building pack where you can put species, cultures, languages, religions, philosophies, systems, magic, and items in here as well. So, yeah, that is Campfire. So, you got to meet... Blairy and Spasia and all that good stuff and I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a campfire tour. Like I said more will be coming with more characters and as I build it the first draft of I'm No Hero is done so I'm slowly going back and slowly adding everything because I'm kind of a discovery writer while having a loose outline so I'm slowly going back and building a series bible as i'm rereading it it'll be fun you get to see some of the process and all that good stuff sunday i believe i am going to reread one of my very old manuscripts one of the ones that i did not finish because at the time i did not outline i fully discovery wrote and i kind of quit in the middle and I'm going to show you guys how to outline to be able to finish the work off of what you have. And it's probably going to be a really embarrassing read. But you know what? It'll be worth it for you guys, right? Right. <laughs> As always, be safe, be kind, remember to smile. And if you like more content like this, make sure to like it and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. I have 54 subscribers now and it's just it makes me feel all warm and cozy inside. So yeah. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time.